have today. Now, if your body requires 60 and you're only giving it, let's say, 3, 12, that's a problem. Don't you think so? Now, what are the three? The reason why they use the three, you know why? When you go to the store, what are you looking for? You're looking for the pumpkin that looks big. I mean, if you're going to spend your money on a pumpkin, it better be a big one. Uh, whatever I spend, it will be big. Carrots, big. Um, whatever it is, they have to be big. Okay, so that's one. The other thing you want, you want it, you want it to be looking, looking um, um, colorful. The more colorful it looks, that's appealing to you. The carrots look very rosy. And the other thing that you want is that you want it to be fresh. And that's what the three is. No one, nobody takes the time to figure out how much nutrients is in the food that they buy. No, we don't have the time. Besides, we don't have the equipment to do that. And that's where the problem is. We now know today that every disease that we have is due to a mineral deficiency. And since 1936, the U.S. government has been testing the soil. And they realized that every year, the soil in the United States is getting more and more mineral deficient. So we got a problem here. There was a time that we would be able to get, in the 1900s, a whole lot of nutrients from the soil. Today, we are hardly getting anything. That's why to get the same nutrients from the foods that folks used to get 50, 60, 100 years ago, we now have to eat more of the same foods. For example, vitamin A. You need vitamin A, don't you? And if you're trying to get it from tomatoes, you know how many tomatoes you have to eat? 11 tomatoes to get your vitamin A. So after you leave here today and you go have your dinner, 11 tomatoes. Broccoli to get the selenium that is so important. You know what selenium is good for anyone? Immune system. Cancer. As a matter of fact, we're leaving here to ladies. Make sure you're taking 200 milligrams of selenium every day if you want to prevent breast cancer. If you take that, you will not come down with it. Men, prostate. 96 blueberries. What about five cups of green tea? 71 cantaloupes to get the vitamin E. Look at this. Folates, 10 cups of green beans. 25 asparagus. 12. These are the amount of stuff you have to eat. In other words, almost a, a bath full, tub full of, of those foods that you need in order to get the adequate that your body needs. And when we don't get it, that's the problem. Because of the poor quality of the soil, the foods that have been produced by the manufacturers, the manufacturers, those guys don't care. All they, are, all they care about is making money. So they are not concerned about what vitamins and minerals goes in there. Uh-uh. All right? And that's why we have all those multiple, multiple of diseases of all kinds. Now, there is what is called the staff of disease and death. These are foods that we are eating today that if we were to eat less of those foods, we would greatly enhance our life. And when you see them, I'm sorry, you're going to stone me after that. What about refined products? White bread. This stuff turns to sugar when they get into your body. One of the biggest problems we have today is sugar. White refined products, they take all of the nutrients from the stuff and give you only the white stuff. And that's a problem. Okay? Need I say anything? Wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Stay away from it. Have you ever heard something called gluten intolerance? A big problem. They don't even want to cover it yet. It is so huge. And it will take a long time here to explain. But man is constantly tampering with God's creation and causing a whole lot of problems. And the body is smart. The body recognizes that when those things come in there, they may, it may go through your mouth, it may go through your blood, bloodstream, but to get into your blood cells, uh-uh. It says, no, 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 no. You're not getting there. I don't know you. And those things, they float in your body. They float and then lodge themselves in areas and causes all kinds of medical problems. You heard of hybrid and GMO? Okay. Why? Oh, by the way, let me, call, let me say, I say that, but let me say, unless it says gluten-free. Gluten-free. See, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. 
Well, we, that's, what we, that's why we're having this conversation here. There's something I'm going to call, I'll talk about later called the trick of the enemy. The trick of the enemy. The deception of the enemy. See, for every good thing that God creates, the enemy comes and infiltrates and causes problems. And we have to recognize that. We have to recognize that, folks. He's attacking everything. Not only the word of God, he's attacking your health, what you eat. Sugar, sweetness, they are everywhere. I mean, this is what young people are eating. Kids, some of them, that's what they are for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You see those little trucks that passes in the community? We have all this nice little song. They don't want this. That's where they start preparing you to be a diabetic. The little kids. The average American consumes an average of 150 pounds of sweeteners per person per year. That's more than three fourths a cup a day. It's in everything. Fried foods. <laughs> Did God give Adam and Eve any? oil and stuff in the garden to fry any foods? Why are we eating fry foods? Have you ever studied and found out where the oil came from? How they originally brought oil into our diet? Propped and gamble. When you study, you'll be blown away to find out it was machinery oil that they, they, they were just wasting away and they had to find something. So they manufacture something. Folks, whenever you use oil, by the way, no oil is safe. Not olive oil, coconut oil, none. Oil is like, every oil, they are like communists. None of them are good. Oil, when, you, when it comes out of the protective layer where God puts it, it begins to decompose. You call that oxidation. And that's what causes free radical. That's what damages the cells. So, yeah. And then the oil itself, it lines up the arteries, clogging up the arteries, causing a host, a host of problems. So fried foods, folks, we should not be eating any fried foods. No fried chicken, no fried egg, no, no fried, no, nothing fried. Okay? We should have time to go into the whole, whole lot about it, about the villas and so on, how they inflame them. This little guy said, you know, if he continue eating all of these French fries, he's going to weigh 300 pounds very soon. You like meat? Do you know how they preserve the meat? With nitrates and nitrites? And are you aware that the nitrates and nitrites are carcinogenic? They cause a lot. They, they cancer forming, in other words. Okay? When you eat Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, you eat at your own risk. This man's been dead for many years and he's still killing a whole lot of people today. Do we know where these chickens are raised? Do we know the condition? Do we know what they, the growth hormones that they feed them? The steroids? The estrogen? All of the stuff that they put in there that is so harmful to our health. We wonder why. Why am I coming along with... Why, why do I have these diseases when I try to eat right? Well... If you're eating chicken, most likely, and if I go to were to go into meat, the whole thing about the meat industry, that's another, that's 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 something all by itself there. Okay. I know you love fish, but but do we know where the fish comes from? Are we aware that most of those lakes and rivers and oceans they are dumping all kind of chemical, radioactive stuff in there? We have no idea where the fish is coming from. We just, it just appears in broad meat and fish and we go and buy it there. But we have no idea. Even the Bible, I like to do this in first day churches, I say, even the Bible lets us know we should not go to Red Lobster. <laughs> no more. Okay, but the Adventists, we don't go there. All right, all right. So folks, this is what, this is the typical American diet. Problems. You know, the rich man's delicacies have become the average citizen's regular meal. Do not crave the rich man's delicacies, for it is deceptive. Proverbs 23, verse 3, 1 and 3. Alcohol, beverage, all of those stuff that people put in their body. Why are we doing this to ourselves? 
when you put all of this stuff in your body, folks, your body is now very sick. And what do we do? We run to the big farmer. They have the answer. Are you aware that are you aware that all of the drugs, 99.99% of the prescription drugs that's in the pharmacy, they are not intended to cure the disease? They are intended to control the symptom, maintain the disease, not to get rid of it. Metformin? Do you think metformin is going to cure diabetes? Think again. Problem, folks. The colon has become a cesspool with all of the different foods that we eat. Plus, our body gets it's very toxic today. From the food we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, all of this is toxic. We live in a toxic society. Do you remember growing up in the Caribbean when your parents would allow you to eat all of the mangoes you want during mango season? Even those that had worms in them, you could eat them, they don't care. Because before you go back to school, what was going to happen? You have to go for a washout, a clean out, and they give you something wonderful to drink that has castor oil in it, sene, that has, what, what else it had in there? Bitter herb, oh, what else? All kind of stuff in there. And it just to smell so good and taste so good. You ask for one cup and you want another cup and another cup because it's so good. One thing I remember, you are just you 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 after you drink it, you better stay close to the hole in the ground. Okay, but but guess what? After you took it, it do, it didn't taste good, but I'm telling you, afterwards, a few days after, you felt clean and fresh. And ready to go again. I always wondered. We just long for us to leave our parents' home. Once we leave our home, we never go through this clean out anymore. I'm wondering how long this white stuff is in our body at this time. The worms. Okay, so we have to change. We what the solution? We've got to change our lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Disease is a lifestyle. We. Once you, once you get into the, 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 the appropriate lifestyle, the disease goes away. We have to detoxify our body. Every one of us, folks, they, they are finding out today that many times people are sick. The main thing is that our body is toxic. It simply needs cleaning out. Get some seracy. Get whatever it is and clean out the system. Once you do that, you'll be amazed to realize how so many other wonderful things take place. Okay? And God has given to us a host of different cleansers. All right? We have them all here. Senna leaves, apple fruit pectin, and the list goes on and on. The ginger and the turmeric, excellent stuff. We make, take use of, make, make every use of ginger and turmeric. They are discovering so many amazing things about this two right here, which we knew already. Okay? We're just not making enough use of it. The sene, the castor bean, all of those things, the cascara sagrada, all of these are there to clean the body. Even the Bible talks about some of those wonderful things. The onion, the lemons, the leeks, the garlic. When you take garlic into your body, folks, your body shouts, glory, hallelujah! It is so happy. Garlic is good for so many things. It's amazing prevent a host of different diseases. My wife makes a juice out of it and I'm telling you folks, that thing is it's good. Okay? The lemon, yes, it's good. We need to drink this lemon. We see it all the time. But do we make enough use of it? This thing is good in regenerating the blood, cleansing the blood. The red beets, we'll talk about the red beet a little later. The leeks, all of those, the onions and Folks, when you put all of those things together and you make a juice out of them, amazing thing. The watercress, the fennel, artichoke. Do you know that artichoke is one of the most amazing products to clean out your liver? Get this, folks, and eat it. I know we don't have it in the Caribbean, but it's excellent. Aloe, I hope you're making use. There's so much aloe everywhere. It's good for your skin. It's good for cleansing. It's good for a host of different diseases. Aloe. 
What did they call it in Jamaica? Sink a Bible? All right, sink a Bible. Okay, got it. All right, all of those here, the male fern, the dandelion, the melon is good for the urinary system. Asparagus, all of those here. Um, let's, the, the watermelon, kidney. By the way, if you're diabetic, uh, hold, up, hold, hold away, stay away from the sugars, okay? All right, so all of those here are just amazing. Now, let me go quickly here. What was the original food that God gave us in the very beginning? Folks, very simple. If we were to really get into the foods that God wants us to eat and stay away from all of this man-made stuff, again, our health would be so dramatically enhanced. Fruits of all kinds, amen? And organic as much as possible. Take a variety. And by the way, do not buy your fruits and vegetables from the same store all the time. Why? Because what if Farmer Brown does not have no calcium in his soil? Because, remember, if there's calcium in one place and you keep planting the same thing over and over, eventually what hap what's going to happen? No calcium, just like a checkbook. You have money in the bank and you keep taking money out, money out, and not putting any back in. And that's what happened. So, shop different places so you can have a variety of the little nutrients that you're getting from, the, from, the, from those things. Prepare the best way possible. The same thing with vegetables. Lots of vegetables. Juice them as much as possible. All right? The GMO, um, the, the gluten-free and GMO-free nuts and grain. This is the foods that God gave mankind. Okay? He gave us the ginger, the turmeric, the island food. Eat lots of those. How many of you like yams? <laughs> Eat your yams. What about um, breadfruit? Lots of it, folks. Eat your island food. Don't settle for this American, typical the American diet. This Western diet is what's killing a whole lot of us. Okay? The, prepare them every way possible. Peas and beans. Wow. Eat lots of those folks. This is what the body is looking for. Give it the very best stuff here. And remember, 80% of your food should be eaten raw. Only 20% should be cooked. We cook too much of our food. When we cook it, we drain out that little nutrient that we are getting. And that's what the problem is. Okay, let's look at the trick and deception of the devil. We know the, the right foods to eat. And the devil knows that too. Now, when we eat our food, what is it that we are actually trying to get from the foods that we eat? We're trying to get the minerals, isn't that right? The vitamins, the minerals, we're trying to get all of those. And if we get a, the right amount, guess what's going to happen? Our body is healthy because the body is getting all the nutrients that it needs. But here's what the devil realized. If you can take away these nutrients from the food, then... He's winning the battle over us. What happened? He's getting us sick. And when you're sick, can you do the work of God? No. We, it's a very important message to take care of. But people are so weak and tired. You know, after they eat a meal, they just fall asleep. They don't want to go. Nothing about coming back in the afternoon to go and do Bible studies. <laughs> because they're sleepy. They're drugged from the food that they ate. Okay. And remember what we talk about? That every mineral is due, every disease is due to a mineral deficiency. So if you get certain minerals out of the food, you, that's where it is. Now we now know today that every, every one of those vitamins and minerals, every single one has a special role to play in the body. So if you're lacking vitamin A, what do you think you might have? What, 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 what is one of the diseases you think you might have? What about selenium? You see, these are the things that we don't pay attention to. And that is where the problem is. Okay? Now, we talked about the soil. Because of the condition of the soil, we are not getting the nutrients that we once used to, the toxicity of the place. And now we also realize, let's go back to the fact that we need those nutrients. If we can't get the nutrients from the foods we eat, what are we supposed to do? I hear the word. I love that word. If you cannot get the selenium, the magnesium, the, the chromium, the vanadium, if you cannot get them from the food in the optimal amount that your body requires it, 
What do you think is going to happen? You're going to come down with a disease. So the best thing to do, folks, today we must supplement. We must. Now this, what do you see down here? A lot of you are going to ignore me. You're not going to listen to me. You're going to decide, okay, all I'm going to do is just be a vegan. I'm just going to be a vegetarian and that solved the problem. And ignore completely the fact that the soil is the problem. We do not have the nutrients in abundance. What they found out, the people that live in various parts, there, there are seven, seven areas in the world where people live routinely over 100 years old. It's just a normal thing to live 100. What they found out, the soil where they grow their food has those 90 essential nutrients. And every morning, when they have their breakfast, their lunch, their dinner, they are getting all 90. Do they have diseases? Hardly. And they are strong. They are the ones you see climbing up Mount Everest. They are the ones that jogging at, at age 90. Just, they have, they're full of energy. Why? Because they, have, they are living in a place where those nutrients that their body needs, they have it all. But we don't leave those places. So what is the best thing to do? Supplement. Make sure you're getting the right vitamins and minerals that your body needs. The 90. Now, here's, here's what's happening here. When one has, for example, diabetes, there, there are two particular nutrients that your body needs more than the others. What do you have to do? Because you're, when you're diabetic, that means that these nutrients are way down there in your body. You hardly have any. What you have to do is to get an additional dose to bring it back up where it belongs. Once it gets back where it belongs, the body takes over. The glucose and the insulin begin working together again. No more problem. So folks, what we say, supplement. Make sure you are getting these 90 essential nutrients. And uh, once you do that, you're in good shape. Now, here's another big problem. There are all kinds of diseases in this world today. But when you buy, and, and they have all kinds of names for those diseases. Some of those names will frighten you the way they are, how long they are. And then they have those drugs. Every, for every one of them, they have different drugs that they use. But when you really think about it, folks, all of those diseases just comes under four categories four categories. You either have a calcium deficiency. If you have a calcium deficiency, these are some of the diseases that most likely you're going to have. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to come, <laughs> I'm going to come back to that. Yeah, I know. It's come, that's why I just prematurely brought it up. But I'm going to address it right here. Calcium deficiency, you look at some other diseases. Arthritis, back pain, knee pain, joint pain, anything dealing with the framework of the body. Calcium deficiency. Your body requires a, put it this way, if your do, body does not have enough calcium, it is responsible for 148 different diseases. These are just a few of them. Do you know that, did you know that high and low blood pressure is due to lack of calcium? So here you are taking all of this medication. Your doctor never told you that it may be that you're not getting enough calcium. Panic attack, PMS, sciatica, vertigo, all of those. Um, osteoporosis, what else you seen here? Kidney stone, back, all of those are just a calcium deficiency. How do you solve the problem? Give the body the adequate amount of calcium that it needs. The body will fix itself. See, God made, folks, all the body is saying, give me the raw material and I will do my job. Just give me the raw material and I will do what I need to do for you. Okay, and these are, these are just some of those things here. For example, do you know that grapefruit is one of the best foods for high blood pressure? By the way, while I do that, I'm also going to throw some of those things in here. Guava, do you know it's also very good for high blood pressure? Oh, yes. What about squash? Yes. Okay. Rice. Brown rice. Black rice. Good for high blood pressure. Okay. 
we'll leave that alone. Okay, so these are just a few of them here. Okay, Venurin. And with, oh, by the way, how many of you knew that radish is very, very good for high blood pressure? If you drink gal, if you drink this beet juice every day for three months and you have high blood pressure, whew, miracle. Does your doctor tell you that? No. No, they don't want you to know that. Okay, digestive disorder. When you have a digestive disorder, all those things come about. Acid reflux, allergies, belchin, bloating, Crohn's disease, diverticulitis, big long name. Heartburn, indigestion, all of those things, stomach, um, intestinal pain, seasonal allergies, all of those are allergies, are, are digestive disorder. When you have a digestive disorder, there are two main things that's happening to your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Say that again. Beetroot is very good for <laughs> Okay. Beetroot is very good for blood pressure regulation. Oh, I said radish, beetroot. Beetroot, I'm sorry, it's beet, the red. I said maybe I said the red, the beetroot, the red one. Okay. Very good. Okay, when you're digestive disorder, folks, people have all kind of digestive disorder, and they give you the, all, the, the, the purple peel, the, all kind of stuff that they give you, all, upper GI tests, all this crazy stuff. I, I wish, let, me, let me tell you quickly a little story about, let me, I, I, it may take a little while, but I, I got to let you hear this. Some time ago, when I first came to this country, I was working in the conference, and they had this man come and he was teaching us about those natural things like I'm doing here. I was just getting into things. And <laughs> I had this problem, this pain in my this area here. So I told him about it and he told me, oh, that's easy. He wrote the name of the stuff for me. He told me, just when you go home, just go buy this stuff and that's all the problem. But when I went home, I told my wife about it, and I said, mm, I think I better go see a real doctor. <laughs> so I went to a real doctor, my doctor, and he sent me to a, uh, what do you call them again? The one specialist to do a, a so, what do you call that? A, 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 what's the term that they use? A, so, a GI something? Something, you all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. He told me, good, all right, he told me he, I need to do that test. Make sure I come with somebody um, the day I'm going to do the test because I might be drowsy. So I went, I did the test, and after I did the test, I was so drowsy, I remember I had a friend who took me home. His name was Moses, by the way. <laughs> Moses. <laughs> you had made no tall Moses. Okay, so Moses brought me home. So I went in for them to call me back and give me the result. Nobody's calling me back. So I call them. When I come, they say, they don't see no problem. But I, I say, you don't see any problem, but I still have the problem. So, I mean, this thing was getting worse and worse. So my wife, when I went home, she told me, by the way, did you come from the conference office and you said that the man had told you go buy something? I said, yeah. I said, what is it? So I gave her the name and she went and she bought it. Came back home, gave it to me, drink that stuff. The very day I took it, I started feeling well. By the next day, the problem gone. Forever. What do you think it was? Slippery M back. The powder. What he said, and that made a lot of sense, and I, even though he had told me, but I didn't take it serious. He said that when you have those problems, um, many, a lot of people have it. What it is, is the, is the lining of your stomach, it gets inflamed. And because you're constantly eating, Every time you eat, it rubs against it and it just scrapes it and burns you. And the doctor will give you all kind of stuff, but they will not give, tell you exactly what you need to do. When you take Slippery M back, what it does, it creates a coating. It coats the area. Okay? So that, you know, it gives it a little chance.
to heal. The, the, the food will pass through, but it will not rub against it. And after a day or two, the thing is healed up. And that's all I did. Solve the problem. Digestive disorders come under two problems. Number one, your stomach has to be very acidic when you're taking food into your stomach. That's why sodas are dangerous. You should never drink sodas because what the soda does, it, 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 it lessens the acidity of the stomach because that, it has to be very acid to break down the food. When it passes through the stomach, it, it has to be very alkaline. So, many times you have a, a problem, a digestive problem, all you do, you make sure you take the right amount of enzymes. Okay? The enzyme, there are all kinds of different enzymes for the different kind of foods. There are billions. Okay, so you have to take those things. Okay? And then when it goes to the intestines, guess what you need? You need the probiotics. Once you're able to get this tube back into the system, it balances all the pH and everything, and the body is fine. Whatever the problem is, goes away. Okay? All right? All right. The next one here is EFA and cholesterol. How many times you go to the doctor and they tell you, your cholesterol is too high? Oh, we need to give you lipid or zoka, statin. Folks, that's a lie. Cholesterol is very good for you. Cholesterol loves you so much that your body makes cholesterol. They had some kind of old study some years ago, and some of about with the cholesterol, and that's why they're still, still using it. You know why? Because they're making billions of dollars with Lipitor. See, once the doctors get, a, get something that works, they're making a lot of money, they don't care. Uh-uh. All they care about is making that billion of dollars from that drug. All right? So that's one of them here. The other thing you want to remember is um, cholesterol is like a red light signal in the body. It simply comes up when there is a problem, like diabetes, high blood pressure. But as soon as the, the problem is fixed, the cholesterol goes back down. So if, when you take Lipitor, Zoka, Privastatin, guess what? Oh, by the way, look at some other diseases there. When you, don't have, when you have, don't have enough cholesterol, and do you know what is EFA? How many of you remember growing up and your parents used to give you in that spoon, that, that yellow stuff in the spoon? You remember? No. Um, cod liver oil, right. Didn't you used to like that? Yeah. Good stuff. The cod liver oil was great, great. Whew. You wanted more and more. It was like cookies. So good. <laughs> okay. When you don't have enough cholesterol, when you don't have enough EFA, what happens? These are the diseases you come down with. Also, folks, look, listen to this. 80% of your brain by weight is cholesterol. 80% of your brain. You listen to me? 80% of your brain by weight is cholesterol. If you keep draining all the cholesterol from your brain by using Lipitor, Zoka, Privastatin, what is, what's going to happen? You're going to come along with Alzheimer's disease, dementia. We've never had a problem with Alzheimer's and dementia until 50, about 40, 50 years ago when they started introducing those cholesterol-lowering drugs. Ever since, all of a sudden, people are having all kind of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Um, so all of those here. Uh, here's another one. Do you know that when you don't have enough cholesterol, okay, I'm gonna, can I talk to the light and try and get what I'm saying because of the children? Ooh. Do you know that most of your sex hormones are made out of cholesterol? Well, you didn't know that. If nothing good is happening in your bedroom, it's because there's nobody home. You see, folks, you need cholesterol to make testosterone. And if you don't have that cholesterol, nothing's going up. No, everything is dead. Okay? See what they say, low libido and all of this stuff? I can go on on you, but let, let me squeak to another one. So if they tell you don't eat your coconuts and don't eat our avocado because this has cholesterol, folks, you're, t you're being told a lie. When we were in the Caribbean, we did, did we have any problem eating our coconuts and eating our avocado? Eat your coconut, eat your avocado, please. Your body needs it. It love it. Okay? All right. Um, all of those problems here with you. Another thing here. A lot of those things are good for your heart. Walnut, bananas. Okay? All of those here. I could go on and on here. Let me, let me. Do you know this is very good for your heart? 
sweet sop and sour sop. Okay, you know that. I think you know that one. Okay, lily of the valley and hawthorn. So many times, folks, we don't have to wait until we have the disease. We can immediately use those things every day. Make them a part of your diet. Okay? Now, the last one, your blood sugar imbalance. When you have a blood sugar imbalance, it manifests itself in many different ways. Remember that. A blood sugar imbalance, when, you don't, when it's out of balance, you will come down. Kids, ADD, ADHD, they give them Ritalin because they want to sell the drugs. All they have to do is to get these kids off all the sugar that they are eating. They are using too much sugar. Their body is out of balance where the sugar is concerned. Adrenal failure, bad weight and anxiety, high, hyper, hyperglycemia, diabetes. Naturally, you know it's a blood sugar imbalance. What about memory loss? It's a blood sugar imbalance. What about ob obesity? Obesity does mean that the person just likes eating, eating, eating. Your body is lacking in minerals so much that there's a constant thing telling you to eat, eat. And the reason the, body, the brain is telling you that is because it's looking for those minerals. And if it's not getting the minerals, that's why people get, you know, a whole lot of calories, 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 causes you to obese, okay? All right, so all of those things here. Now, there are a lot of different foods that you can use for diabetes. Okay, and I'm going to answer your question in a while here. All right, lots of fine. Many times those people on dialysis, nothing is wrong with the kidney. What? You see, here, here's, the, here's the simple thing. There are dirty blood that has to go to the kidney to be cleaned out. On their way to the kidney, they pass through a lot of small ch vessels, arteries. That's, they're small like the, 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 your, the, the hairs on your head. They're very, very, but billions of them. But what happens if we are eating the wrong food, putting the wrong stuff in our body, they get clogged up. When they get clogged up, what happens? The blood cannot go through. And if the blood cannot go through, that means there's, there's less blood going to the kidney. So automatically they tell you, your kidney is what's bad. So you have to come in so that we could um, uh, um, um, use this machine to three times a week. Could you imagine three times a week you have to be going to a machine to clean you out? This marvelous body that God created. That's why those doctors don't come to church. They don't come to church. They, 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 they're too wicked. Some of them, are, I'm, I mean, let me, let, let, me, let me correct myself here. I love doctors. When it comes to emergency, they are, they are good. If you have a medical problem, make sure you go see your doctor. And whatever, medical, whatever medicine he gives you, take it, please. Because it's an emergency. When you're in an emergency, you want to do whatever it is to save your life. Take the medicine. But what happens, once things get normal, that's when you start getting back to, you know, doing what you know you need to do to take care of your health naturally. And if you do that, many times you will not have to go through the problem. But the thing with the doctors, this medicine, they give it to you for the rest of your life. When it's supposed to be only for emergencies. And you have to remember that they are not trained in in natural remedies, people, we got to remember that. Doctors are wonderful, but we have to remember their specialty is in drugs. The moment they go to school, all they are taught is when someone is sick, this is the medicine. And when, they, when you take this medicine and there's a side effect to the medicine, this is the other medicine. And when there's a side effect to this one, this is the medicine. So they, that's how they make their money. Somebody has to pay for this hours and years that they went to school. <laughs> and the equipment that they have, those machines, and somebody got to pay for it. But not your little body. No, 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 no. Doctor, get somebody else, not me. So we have to keep that in mind. Where, where was it? Okay, so, so I started taking the nutrient. Oh, by, by the way, talking about the, about the problem. So kidney problem. They tell you it's dialysis you have to go on when simply, let me ask you a question. If your sink in your, in your bathroom or your sink or your, 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 your bathtub is not, the water is not flowing, what do you do? You throw with the bathtub, throw with the sink? No. You get the sink and you snake it out or whatever it is, okay, so that the water can start flowing again. 
But the doctors, that's no money for them. Hmm. When they put you on dialysis, they make money, residual income for the rest of their life. Okay? And do you know that all of the, those, those dialysis places, you know who owns them? Doctors. <laughs> so folks, we have to educate ourselves. These people, they are in business for themselves. They are in business to, to make money. Yes, occasionally they will cure disease. But most of the time, if they can maintain the symptoms, control everything, have you coming back month after month after month, week after week for some people, you'd call some people and say, oh, I have three appointments this week. And they feel so happy. They have a doctor's appointment for Monday, one on Tuesday, three on Wednesday. They feel good. Not realizing they're just lining the pockets of the doctors. And the moment they see that you don't have insurance, they don't want you anymore. <laughs> okay, so, and then, here's the big one. Circulatory problem, and what, is, what do they start doing? Your toes start getting gangrene. The circulation is not going through. What they do, they start cutting one toe at a time. Every time they cut a toe, they make money. They cut another toe, they make more money. Another toe, they make more money. If they cut all toes at one time, that's one surgery. That's not good. That's not good for business. You have to cut one toe every time. And then you cut the foot out, and then the big money comes when they cut both feet, when they amputate both feet. I'm just telling you what's happening. That's what's happening, folks. So I started taking the nutrients. And guess what? Just when I started taking the nutrients, I started taking it, but I was not seeing. You know, sometimes you start taking this stuff and you're not seeing any results. So you say, man, this thing is not working. So I say, man, I'm spending no more money on, on, on getting these nutrients. So I slowed down. Just when I slowed down, I remember I had a doctor's appointment to have my A1C done. You know what the A1C, you do that every three months. Yeah, every three months they, you go and they do that special, that test, and they will know how your blood sugar is. Whether it's a 6.0 or 9.0, if it's the higher it is, the more problem you're in. The more you can, if it's about 4.9 or something, that's great, excellent. So anyway, so guess what? Just when I slow down is when I remember I had the appointment. So I went in and I see the doctor. I had nothing to lose. And I remember he did my blood work. You know, they put you in this little room and they lock you. I always wonder, why do you always put you in this little room and they lock you in there? It's because <laughs> you are so special to them. They don't want you to escape. <laughs> so, so listen to this. So he, he did the blood work and he comes back to me in the little room. And he said, Pharaoh, what have you been doing? You're supposed to be a diabetic. How comes your blood sugar is low? Is, is, is low? So right there I realized something was happening. These nutrients were working, but I dare not tell him I'm taking the vitamins and minerals with the medication. What do you think he's going to say? Oh, no, 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 don't do that. That's, that's what the problem is. Mm, don't mix, don't mix, don't mix. Only take the drugs. Don't do anything. Take it for the rest of your life. Don't. <laughs> so I say, whatever. So right there it tells me these nutrients were working even when I was not taking them on time and I was not taking the full dose because everybody at home was taking it at the same time. So we were not doing it right. So, but I remember before I left the office, he told me three times, make sure I come back to see him in 30 days. Make sure. So I went home. I decided I'm going to take the rest of the nutrients exactly as I'm supposed to take it. I took them and... The 30 days came, I went back to see him, it was late in the afternoon. He couldn't give me the result right there and then because the lab was closed and the nurses were gone. He told me he would call me back the next day. Well, he called me back the next day. He called me so early in the morning, it frightened me. I said, man, if a doctor is calling you when you're just waking up out of bed, that's not, a good, that's not good news. I said, oh no, <laughs> let him leave it on the answering machine. I'm so glad he left it because I have that message right here. I want you to listen to it. Okay. You have to listen very clear, clearly, uh, closely. He's going to say, the part I like the best is when he say, stop using the metformin because it's making your blood sugar go too low. Listen to this. Listen to him.
Amen. It's now, folks, over five years, coming up to six years, I've never had to take any metformin, any insulin, no drugs at all for my diabetes. I, man, I am having a, I'm just having fun. I remember I used to be eating just a little mango when I was a diabetic. Now I eat any amount of mangoes I want. And when I check my blood, in fact, my wife and my sons a few years ago left me home. They went on vacation. And that, that, that week they went on vacation, somebody gave me a, a bag of mangoes and they tell me it was for my wife. So I took this thing and I bring it home and I say, you know, I, I'm gonna be, I'm just getting off this, this diabetes thing, everything is working good. Let me leave those mangoes for a while. But every night I come home, the mangoes are, you know when mangoes are in the house in the heat, I mean, you open the doors, mango smell all around you. I say, well, at least I'll eat one mango. So I eat one mango. That mango was so nice, so sweet, so juicy. I say, I got to eat another mango. I ate another mango. That thing was so good. I pulled my chair in front of the television and the bag of mangoes, and I began to eat mango, watching television, eat mango. Man, by the time the, the, what I was watching, all of the mangoes were gone. There was about a dozen mango, I ate every one of them. And you know why? The, I said, this is one mango for every year that I couldn't eat mango. <laughs> so now I'm just having a ball of a time eating mangoes and anything. Oh, the nutrient. Okay. The two main nutrients, folks. Now, when I tell you, please don't run to CVS and Walgreens and buy those because you buy them and you will not see the result. And I'll tell you why. They are chromium and vanadium. These two main nutrients, but you cannot take them by themselves. You have to, whatever disease you have, you have to take the 90 essential nutrients and then you up on the chromium and the vanadium. You also have to be very careful where you get your nutrients from. Don't get them from CVS and Walgreens. They are eight to, the big thing about vitamins and minerals, remember folks, Walgreens and CVS and Walmart, they are not stupid. They're not going to put the best of the vitamin and mineral in the store for you. So that when you take them, you don't have to buy their drugs. Oh, no. They put the worst that only absorb 8 to 12 percent absorbs into your system. I know of a place, and I'll tell you about it later on, where you can get it where it's 98 percent absorbable. And it works. So that's what I did. And that's what I got, got rid of my diabetes. So, folks, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice question. Vitamins and minerals, we need them in our food. That's what it's. That's what our body is looking for. Now, because of the condition of the soil and the world we live in now, the way man has just not just messed up the soil. So there is a need today for supplementation. Now, if I know that my body needs the, the chromium and the vanadium, and it's, I'm not getting the adequate supply from the food that I eat, I have no problem in supplementing every day, adding it to my meal. So here's what we say. Eat whatever you may have to eat, but make sure you are taking your 90 essential nutrients with your meal so that you're eating a balanced meal so that you can prevent future disease, and if there's diseases, the body will fix whatever that's there. So that's the answer. Yes, you want to, but it does not have to be, um, once it get back to normal, you know, occasionally, like sometimes I know I overdo it. Uh, I eat a lot in Sabbath meal, you know. I take a little, one of those little stuff. But most of the time, if you're taking the, the full multivitamin and mineral, which is the way to take it, then you're getting all the vitamins and minerals your body needs. Okay? And that's how, that's why we say if you're a vegetarian, great, but make sure you supplement. If you're a vegan, same thing. A lot of people tell they're vegan, vegetarian, but they never tell you on the side they are taking the supplement. Yeah. Most of them are taking the supplement. They just don't tell you. They say they're vegan, they're vegetarian. But I'm telling you the right thing to do. Make sure. Oh, by the way, I have a 
Um, Brother Roy, I gave him uh, I gave him some little cards. I wanted you to fill out. Where did you put it? Can someone alert him for me? It's a little card that I have that you can fill out, and I'll be delighted to share more information with you. He may have left it at the back as well in the room. But folks, yeah, no, that's not. Oh man, tell, tell him to get it. Yeah, he has it. Or it may be, maybe it's at the back. Let me just finish here, folks. So make sure that you follow those steps here. Very, very important, the do's and don'ts. You know, we got to get into natural whole foods, green leafy vegetables, eat lots of foods that are high in ORAC scores. ORAC score is where, where the... Um, the higher the ORAC score, the, the more antioxidants that fights against diseases. So you, you, you want to make sure. High protein meal and snack, drink plenty of water, but you want to stay away from the, the butter, uh, not the butter, the oil and the margarine. Oil and margarine is dangerous for your body. Saturated fat, you don't want that, okay? Carbonated, you can use some butter. But don't burn the body. Anytime you burn it, that's where the problem is. It oxidizes. Okay? Also, fried fresh vegetables and fruits and pro all of those processed sugar, processed stuff, stay away from them. And the pesticide and herbicides, all of those things. You want, yes, question. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, it will help, definitely. But then you need to, it's, it's a slow process to get rid of, of gluten because of the, the chemical chain that has been done in the body. And it takes a while to reverse it. You got to pass one out to, give everyone one for me, please. Okay? Um, there's a, a little survey form. If you fill it out, or you know someone who perhaps have a medical issue that needs to hear this information, I will call and share the information with the individuals and let them know what are the right foods to eat, what are the foods not to eat, and what are the right nutrients to take into the body. And I'm telling you folks, this is, this is an information that the medical community don't want you to know. It is a simple, going back to your... Okay. That, that uh, the products that we have is going to help me with my diabetes. Uh huh. And I bought a whole set of the products and mm -hmm. was using it as food and it never helped. That okay, let's let's go back. Finish. Hold on a second. Let me okay. And when I told him about it, he said it was because I'm doing better. Okay. Number one, stay away. That's why I use the wood. Wheat, barley, rye, oats. These are the main ones that causing that. Wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Okay, because again, the, how they're modifying, how they're changing the genes and the makeup of those, that's one of the biggest problems. The body is not recognizing it. And, but the less of it you use, slowly your body fix itself. That's the, why, that's the reason why we say take... Now, another thing here you mentioned was the fact that a lot of people sometimes don't get results, and it's because a lot of people are looking... I'm not saying you, but they're looking for... Remember, it took years to develop the disease. So we're not saying it's going to take years to reverse it, but once you start putting in your body the right stuff, the body starts fixing itself slowly and slowly and slowly. Sometimes, for example, diabetes... It will tell you the chromium and vanadium. Take on the, on the container, it says one, three times a day. But if your blood sugar is way in the 200s or 300s, one, three times a day is. Mm -mm. That's where you go to the maximum 12 a day, four, three times a day. 
And then as you see your blood sugar, um, the, the wonderful thing is that the doctors give us the privilege of measuring our own blood tests and our blood sugar. You with me? Are you with me? You have trying to answer your question. Yes. Yes. Okay. So many times you have to take a higher dose of the vitamins and minerals in order for it to do its job. Okay? So Folks, this is, I have seen so many amazing things what these nutrients are doing. And, and when you really think about it, we shouldn't be shocked. Because we should understand that the enemy has a plan, and a plan to destroy us, to, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So we should, that should be clear in our mind that he is on a path to destroy our health. And we have to be smart. We have to be educated. We have to be alert to those conditions, to, to those things. And he is going to use whatever is working. He will find a way to make it not work. You know, I'm glad my brother brought up the information here because it is so important for us to know those things. Now, it, if our body is so messy that sometimes it requires a whole lot of work to clean it out. You know? Just as I say, sometimes instead of three, it's, you need to take 12 a day. But it will do its work as long as you're doing what nature calls us to do. Huh? That's why the Bible says, I like that, that it says, if you'll diligently hearken unto his voice and do those things that you know is right, you know, none of those diseases will he put upon us. The word of God says that if we do the right things, if we follow the right precepts and right examples, we are not going to be plagued with those diseases. It's when we choose to do things our way and we choose to ignore all what we are hearing. And as I said, one of the biggest problems we have is that, and I brought him at the back here and made a statement this afternoon, where he says that anytime someone has a doctor by their name and what, oh, we give them full privilege to do whatever they want. Don't be fooled by that, folks. Again, understand that they are different. God uses different ways to bring healing to us. He used the medical doctors. He used the nutritionists. He used the herbalists. He used the acupuncture. He uses all kind of method. All right? But most of all, he uses the natural thing that he has already given to us. We just have to understand in our mind that this enemy recognizes that this nutrient supposed to be in the food. If he can get it out of the food, then he has us locked in. And that's what we have to be careful about. Okay? So I am saying this, folks. Pay attention to all that you're hearing when it comes to new research because they're constantly... And, and sometimes some other things... Sometimes the, 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 the giants... Or you call them the, the mega giants, food industry and meat industry and poultry industry. If you haven't had a chance to listen to a tape, I would like you, I would advise you to listen to it. It's called What the Health. What the Health. It's a video. Take some time and listen and, and go on YouTube and listen to the entirety. You will be What the Health. H-E-A-L-T-H. But it's amazing the stuff that they're discovering with those America, the, 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 the Diabetes Foundation, the Cancer Society. Those guys are all working together with the, with, with the pharmacies, working together with the, all the, 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 the fast food places. You will be blown away the amount of money that's been poured into those companies. And, and a lot of false information that they have on their website telling you what menus to what menu to use for different diseases and all along what they're doing is maintaining the disease not getting rid of the disease so we have to be wise we have to be alert we have to listen and when you know and check things out research do your own research and then the Lord leads you to take the, make the decision, make the, the right decision for your health. With that said, folks, I am very happy 
that y'all I was able to do this here. And these are some of the wonderful literature that you should try and get as well. Okay, and these are the products here. By the way, since the Sabbath is over, yes, we have a wide range of different products, but oh, very important. Everything I've said here, also do not forget the eight laws of health. Everything hangs on those eight laws of health here. It's just that we deal a lot here with nutrition. So, and all of those topics here, if you dive, if you go deep into them, you realize many times that's where our problem is. We are, deal with the surface, but you go in depth and you'll be amazed how each of these are very, we could spend a whole afternoon on each one of them here and more. Is that again? What's that? Oh. Right here? Okay. That, these are the eight laws of health. They just serve them a different way here. Okay. You got it? <laughs> okay. All right. So, folks, I want to thank you all very much. And make sure you fill out the little card and give it back to me, please, so I could be able to share some in valuable information with you. So, can I pick them up now? Because I don't want you to take them home. You will n I'll never see them again. <laughs> okay. 100 years ago, very few Americans suffered from coronary heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney disease, stroke, arthritis, cancer. Today, these lifestyle-related illnesses accounts for the majority of deaths in North America. The good news is that you do not have to suffer and die prematurely. You don't have to from these diseases. By doing a complete body detoxification, remember that, you want to detoxify the body first, Adopting a better diet, wiser lifestyle, and a proper multivitamin and mineral supplementation, you can live longer, younger, and enjoy a healthier and a more protective, and even live to be over 100 to the glory of God. Amen. Thank you all very much. I hope I was able to be a blessing to you today. Okay. That's it? Okay.
church. Have a good night. We'll see you next Sabbath. Right here, same place, same time. God bless everyone. Have a good night.